Hello, today we are looking at a mod that adds gender dysphoria to The Sims 4. Something that should not exist in general, it's, but why not add it to our game for some realism? So here we are again with Cordelia and Hank. You might remember these two. Hank is a trans man teenager who currently has all the female and feminine gender settings under the gender customization options. While Cordelia on the other hand is a trans woman and currently has all the male and masculine settings under uh, the gender customization. The only exception being that these two wear clothing for the gender that they identify with. Now what I find interesting about this mod is that you actually have to put it in place of one of their traits because here it is here gender dysphoria sins with gender dysphoria will feel their emotional and psychological gender identity to be opposite to their biological sex they will often experience discomfort or distress because there's a mismatch between their biological sex and gender identity so i am gonna have to replace one of her traits i'm gonna get rid of good i guess for this one and we'll put gender hey, dysphoria ma. in there interesting that that made her run i'm doing the same here with Hank, I'm gonna get rid of Gloomy and replace it with Gender Dysphoria because it seems like it'll have similar impact. That looks like, that must be active, right? Yeah, so it looks like it uses the same little animation as the active trait, which is kind of funny. Like, what is that? You're like warming up to run away from your dysphoria? Now I'm gonna play with these two sims for an entire sim week and I'll let you know whenever something pops up related to the trait. So this mod does come with a few different social interactions here, such as discuss dysphoria issues, explain preferred pronouns, try to explain gender dysphoria, and vent about dysphoria. Both of these sims actually have the dysphoria trait, so I'm wondering what it'd be like if we had somebody else over that doesn't have gender dysphoria. And since they're neighbors with Raj, he'll be the test subject. So to start things out simple, we'll go with pronouns first. So the icon comes up as that icon for the trait and it looks like he's already changed the subject so that was pretty quick but we do get a moodlet of feeling brave after explaining preferred pronouns cordelia just explained preferred pronouns to another sim hopefully they respect it interesting because it uses the wrong pronouns to refer to cordelia so i'm wondering if this mod assumes that you would select the correct gender for them in the settings first so this would be a sim that already transitioned talking about it next we'll do discuss dysphoria issues so same talking icon up here. They look like they're having a blast talking about these dysphoria issues. And this says, uh, correct pronouns from gender dysphoria sim here in correct pronouns. Cordelia's correct pronouns were used. It seems like there was no moodlet for talking about the dysphoria issues. I'll try now to do, try to explain gender dysphoria and see if that pops anything up. Raj is getting tense here, but I'm not sure it's related to anything we're talking about. I'm adding him over just to see if there's anything that he is experiencing through these interactions. And I just noticed that it actually removed that pronoun option from the chat now. So that makes me feel like you only have to do that once and then the person knows your pronouns. So now I'm gonna see if we can get Hank to talk about dysphoria issues just to see if there is a mood lit. So try to explain gender dysphoria. Oh, he has to pee real bad. <laughs> oh, correct pronouns. Interesting. So he's getting the correct pronouns, even though he hasn't talked to anybody about pronouns before. But he doesn't have the option to do it with Raj. I'm going to invite over Raj's mom. And now that Gita's here, so there is an option to explain pronouns to Gita since she hasn't had the interaction before. But let's try to discuss dysphoria issues. So it was a positive interaction, but yeah, there's no mood lit for that one. Oh, and while Cordelia is asleep here, she's having a dysphoria flare-up, which is an uncomfortable mood lit. Cordelia feels extremely uncomfortable and self-conscious right now. Uh, she hopes it's not too noticeable. She hates feeling so different. Aww. Hank doesn't have one and he's off to go to high school now, so. So this is interesting. I did the try on outfits interaction here on the mirror and it's giving her a very sad moodlet clothes calamity from trying on outfits cordelia hates having to try on clothes it only reminds her how unhappy she is in her, her body nothing fits right it's interesting obviously the animations here are just the generic ones that ea does where she's looking pretty confident in them but i was doing this because i was thinking it would actually cheer her up to be able to like wear her clothes that she likes so since she has the dysphoria moodlet active, I'm going to try the vent about dysphoria option. Oh, so we can see this is like, 
explaining something. That was nice that it didn't just become another like same interaction when it looks like they're telling a funny story. And now we got a Moodle that says feeling open from venting about gender dysphoria. It feels great to be able to talk about uh, her gender dysphoria openly with another sim that Cordelia trusts. All right, now I'm taking these sims to one of Dysphoria's favorite place to hang out, and that is the gym. Feels a little bit cruel, but let's test it out and see if there was anything to go along with this. All right, so we got gym wor worries, but it's giving two plus happiness. It says, individuals with gender dysphoria find the gym a stressful place to be. I don't know why it's doing happy. That must be some sort of glitch. Then there's also an angry moodlet that's exhausted from working out of the gym. Even working out doesn't make Cordelia feel any better. Cordelia feels frustrated. That's for eight hours. That's quite a long time. And let's see Hank over here giving it on this machine. He's also got the gym worries one. He didn't get the angry one. And it's also coming in as a happy buff. Oh, there we go. Now he's got the exhausted, angry one as well. And it looks like these two would be impacting them a lot more if we weren't at this particular gym that has the Bracing Breezes lot trait, because they're doing okay since that's kind of counteracting it. And one of the main reasons I chose this gym for them to work out in is because it's the most absurd one. This one's in San Myshuno and it actually has gendered locker rooms in the basement, which is, feels like a big eye roll for this game. But that would mean that Hank has to go and use the women's change room and everything. So I'm going to let him do that and see how he handles it. So sorry about this, Hank. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that he didn't get any type of mood lit from using this public bathroom, but I'm wondering if there would have been a way for a modder to be able to identify a public bathroom anyway. And same with the shower, he doesn't get a new mood lit, but what I found interesting is that now it's claiming he's tense, but none of these mood lits are saying tense, except this one's angry, so I'm thinking that even though this one's green and says happy, it must come in as a tense mood lit. And now he's going to write in his journal while being tense. Good job, Hank. Good coping. All right, so we are here at GeekCon, because Gita invited us out to it. We're just going to see if we get any um, social moodlets related to dysphoria while we're here. All right, Cordelia's been able to make it through most of GeekCon now, and she hasn't had any issues making new friends, ordering food at the stall, or participating in the contest. So for the final test while we're here, I'm going to get her to go over and try using these awful public bathrooms that always give a negative mood lit because Sims don't like them, and just see if it was customized for um, the dysphoria in particular, knowing that it's quite gendered. All right, so she's come out, and she has no mood lit from that one. I mean, I know in my other challenges, I've seen Sims hate those bathrooms for gen for non-gender related reasons. And it looks like Cordelia has autonomously gone for singing in front of everyone right now, which is pretty cute. I was wondering if she was going to get some sort of mood lit related to her voice, but she seems totally fine with that. As she should. She sounded great. Cordelia is out at a cafe right now and she did get the correct pronouns mood lit again. And we didn't do the interaction with the people she's talking to to explain her pronouns so that must just be a random one that comes up when she's talking to people. So Cordelia was just at home playing some video games and she got another dysphoria flare up. It's supposed to last seven hours. We're gonna try the vent about dysphoria on Hank and see if maybe that'll bring it down for her. So going into the interaction, it was at six hours and it stays that way even if you do talk about it. Now we are at the Charm family household so that Hank can try out some of the romantic interactions and see if there's any effect from the gender dysphoria with that since he got to know Gemma Charm a little better last night. She's pumping iron in her bedroom right now, so we'll go hang out with her. Right off the bat, we got our correct pronouns moodlet, so good sign here with Gemma. So they've gotten to the point of a very first kiss without any negative moodlets or anything coming up besides for besides the positive moodlet of correct pronouns. So this seems to be going well. No dysphoria. And Gemma's going to sleep, so we'll call it a day there. Hank just got home from school and he's feeling very tense. He has a self-conscious moodlet from his gender dysphoria. It says Hank is feeling a wave of anxiety coming on. He also is incredibly smelly, so I need to work on that. Oh, interesting, they're all watching TV and Cordelia got this mood lit that says Fantasy World from gender dysphoria sim watching TV. TV gives an opportunity to escape even if just for a little while. 
Hank has just come out of the shower and he's feeling very sad because he has the mirror glimpse mood lit, which is from a sim seeing themselves in the mirror. Hank caught a glimpse of himself while washing. His self-esteem has taken a hit. That's very sad. No, don't cry. Here, write in your journal, bud. Cordelia is just getting ready for work today and she's got the self-conscious mood lit as well. She's feeling a wave of anxiety coming on. Which is not great considering she is about to do a full shift at her job as a nanny. And Hank has woken up feeling very sad. He's feeling trapped. Hank is feeling trapped inside their body. It's not who he really is. Interesting how it has they, them at the beginning and then it looks like the second sentence is grammatically made for using they, them because it says are instead of is. So not sure why it's putting the wrong pronoun in there. And Cordelia is home and after her shower, she's having the mirror glimpse mood lip pop back up here, having a rough time. All right, so that is the end of a full sim week playing with the dysphoria trait installed. I actually did enjoy playing with this mod. I was a little bit worried going into it because gender dysphoria is not fun. So giving it to my sims feels a little bit cruel. Um, and there definitely were some sad moolets in there. Overall, I think this was executed really well. I mentioned a couple of changes I would like to see in being that I wish that there was some sort of pronoun selector uh, maybe added in here. So that way the moodlets would have the right pronouns or maybe if they just made the moodlet language gender neutral, which it seemed like they had tried to do, but maybe there are some things that slipped through the cracks there. That would have been good. And then I also wish that instead of this trait taking up a full slot in the Sims personality, I wish that it would have been given as a reward store trait so that way it was on top of the other Sim personality traits. But obviously the modder did an amazing job, irregardless of those two things I wish that were changed. And I actually didn't even experience all the moodlets in one week that it, this has to offer because I know the screenshots showed at least three that I didn't experience. Whereas I feel like I did still get a full experience of the mod because there were a lot of moodlets popping up maybe every other day for each of the sims. And I did appreciate the fact that they added in that euphoria related moodlet of having them be happy when they get the right pronouns used for them. This seems like a really great mod that you could add into a transition storyline and have it work well together with other mods such as the mod that I reviewed last week which adds in the process of getting an HRT prescription and actually taking hormones with your sims. Check that video out if you missed it and subscribe if you want to see the other transgender mods that I'll be giving overviews for in the future. That's it for today and I'll see you Wednesday with another video.